Hey everyone, I'm Michael, co-founder and chief storyteller at Horizon Blockchain Games. And today I'm going to talk about the new dimension we're building where internet economies are fun, accessible, and for the benefit of all participants. Before we begin, I'll give a quick overview of the main points of my talk today. So first off, Web3 is another dimension to reality where we can create brand new economies and experiences that are fun, accessible, and for the benefit of all participants. Through novel economic design and true digital ownership of NFTs, free-to-play games can reward players, both in terms of entertainment and financial value. I'll describe how our game Skyweaver's gameplay and economy serve its players and create a symbiotic relationship between the community and our company. I'll also discuss how a decade from now, most companies will be Web3 companies and most people will have a Web3 wallet where they store their NFTs, digital identity, assets, and more. Up until now, widespread adoption has been limited by technological and UX limitations, but we're now ready to welcome the masses to Web3 blockchain and crypto. I'll describe how with our sequence smart wallet, we can welcome an entirely new mass of people to the new dimension. So let's dive into the story. Digital worlds now have physical world-like properties thanks to blockchain. We can truly own digital items in the form of NFTs and collectibles. The same way that we own and can trade the clothes on our back in the third dimension, we can now do the same in the digital dimension. Only it's probably easier to find a buyer for your used clothes in the digital world. With Ethereum and compatible networks, NFTs and collectibles exist in a persistent realm where various worlds, games, avatars, marketplaces, and other applications coexist. This is a dimension we can access on demand, and even when we're not there, things continue to happen and everything is interconnected. Free from the constraints of physicality, we can explore new ideas and experiences in this digital dimension. While the new dimension isn't necessarily better, and personally, I love the physical one we were born into, it is a place we get to shape from the digital ground up. We get to dream, explore, and first principles, and we get to instill this new layer of reality with values like love, openness, and play. It's a playground manifest from our collective imagination. One of the playgrounds we've imagined is called Skyweaver. Skyweaver is the free-to-play trading card game where every card in the game is generated by players through gameplay. It's free-to-play and browser-based, which makes Skyweaver accessible for virtually anyone with an internet connection. And Skyweaver offers a truly player-owned economy. In Skyweaver, there are 500 unique cards, each one of which can be obtained as a base, silver, or gold card. The differences between base, silver, and gold are cosmetic and provide no gameplay advantage. However, silvers and golds are tradable NFTs with varying supplies. You can win all base cards for free by playing matches and leveling up. And if you rank highly enough on our weekly leaderboards, you'll receive ranked rewards. In other words, the top competitive players each week win silver cards, which are tradable NFTs. With these silver cards, you can play with them, build decks with them, trade or sell them. We even have a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer marketplace built right into the game where you can buy and sell with other users. Or you could sell your card on a third party marketplace like OpenSea or simply gift it to your friend. The choice is yours in this truly player-owned economy. You can also use your silver card to enter a single elimination tournament style game mode called Conquest. In Conquest, you enter with one life by paying one silver card or one dollar. If you lose, you're out. If you win once or twice, you win tradable silver cards. Win all three matches in a conquest and you'll win a rare trophy gold card. It's tradable and these gold cards are cosmetically enhanced versions of silvers and base that are limited in supply since golds are only minted by players who win all three matches in a conquest. Each week, only eight of the 500 cards will be available to be won via Conquest as Golds. After the week ends, the only way to acquire those specific cards will be via other players who are selling them. In fact, as a company and a game, we do not sell any cards. 
Now, this might seem counterintuitive at first, but we believe that this type of player-owned and player-generated economy will help make game experiences more fulfilling. Skyweaver gives the power to the players. Players create tradable cards by playing the game. You might think of this as proof of skill. And the cards you win are your property. Also, Skyweaver cards are eternal. They're never banned nor rotated out of play, which means the time you invest to build up your skills, cards, and decks is never lost or taken away from you. To take this notion of ownership a step further, card owners can provide liquidity to the Skyweaver market, which is built atop our Nifty Swap protocol. You can think of it like Uniswap for collectibles and game items. Let's say you provide liquidity for the Silver Fun Guy card and die pairing. Every time that pair is traded on the Skyweaver market, you'll earn a fee. This is where DeFi and gaming intersect and you can leverage the cards you've won or purchased to earn a yield. So in addition to being able to play with, trade, sell, build decks with, and gift your cards, you'll also have the opportunity to earn a yield on the Skyweaver cards you own. Through Skyweaver's game and economy design, we aim to serve our players with value and to reward them for their time. By doing so, we create a symbiotic relationship between players and game creators. Players get to have fun and potentially earn rewards while we earn transaction fees when items are traded. Together we grow and incentives are aligned. Even if a player becomes bored of Skyweaver and no longer wants to play, they can sell their items and go on to something different. As Andrew Steinwald says, NFTs turn users into owners. We believe Skyweaver is one example of the types of symbiotic economies that can exist in this new dimension. And we're excited by the other games, marketplaces, dApps, and worlds that already exist and the many more that will come online in the future. I like this quote by Richard Kim, that consumption, culture, and community are now tradable assets. Consumption is no longer ephemeral, but persistent, no longer private, but communal, no longer limitless, but scarce. Consumption is for the first time collectible. And Tony Sheng writes about how we ought to prefer crypto goods, for example, NFTs over pre-crypto digital goods. Pre-crypto digital goods exist in siloed databases and walled gardens that offer no ownership prospects for users. The owner of a pre-crypto digital good faces massive liquidity and trust risks. Pre-crypto digital goods are issued by central authorities that manage custody of the digital goods, can inflate the supply at will, and often limit the tradability of the items. A sound digital collectible, like an NFT, could be worth at least an order of magnitude more. As more and more users come to recognize the advantages of blockchain-based digital items and the fact that online experiences, culture, and community are tradable assets, we're going to see a ton of new and interesting online economies and experiences emerge. In fact, we believe that most companies and games will be connected to blockchain and Web3 in the next decade, and that nearly every person will have an NFT, crypto, and Web3 wallet. But in order to achieve this, we need to make accessing this new dimension simpler and more intuitive. And that's why we've built the Sequence Smart Wallet for crypto, NFTs, and Web3. The simple and secure way to own your crypto, NFTs, and connect to Web3. You can think of Sequence like your gateway to access the new dimension, an intuitive experience built with the everyday internet user in mind, no blockchain knowledge required. It's a smart contract wallet stacked with capabilities and multi-chain integration so you can view, access, and trade all your assets across various Ethereum-compatible networks. In other words, you can store all of your goods from the new dimension in the same place, securely and simply. It's like your backpack, wallet, and identity controlled and owned entirely by you. Up to this point, we've seen entering the new dimension as somewhat difficult, especially if you're just looking to play around. From unintuitive UX to high gas fees, which make trading low value NFTs cost prohibitive, we've solved for both of these with a simple account creation and account recovery for users. So there's no more worrying about a lost seed phrase while maintaining a non-custodial and secure design. And by supporting all Ethereum compatible chains like Polygon, where gas fees are negligible, Users and developers in this new dimension can choose the chain of their choice based on its fees and security. Sequence will grant you access to all of it. By making the new dimension simpler, we make it easier for developers and creators to connect with their audiences. 
This connection enables more opportunity for collaboration, innovation, symbiosis, and evolution. More opportunity to dream, explore, and reimagine the previously dominant interaction models in favor of networks that reward both users and creators. By making access simpler, we can empower anyone with an internet connection to experience, contribute, and benefit from this new dimension. The virtual economy obviates the traditional characteristics that would preclude the underprivileged from accessing the opportunities presented by great industrial change. The virtual economy is notably distinctive in that it is possible for almost anyone, young or old, rich or poor, regardless of gender, ethnicity, religion, location, heritage, or social status, to succeed as long as they have the intellect, decisiveness, and the technical capacity to see the opportunities emerging within it. This new dimension really can be fun, accessible, and for the benefit of all participants, and every one of us can play a part in making it real. If you'd like to play Skyweaver, sign up for our private beta waitlist at skyweaver.net, and you can learn more about Sequence at sequence.build. In fact, once you begin playing Skyweaver, you'll get to test out the Sequence well at first hand since it's already seamlessly integrated in the game. Also, we're hiring for a number of roles across product, engineering, business development, and marketing that you can find at careers.horizon.io. We're driving Web3 adoption by making blockchain easy, fun, and powerful for users and developers, and our company is driven by the values of love, openness, and play. You can learn more about what this means and the traits we embody to realize our vision of the new dimension by visiting careers.horizon.io. We'd love for you to apply if our open roles and mission align with your skills and passion. Thanks everyone for your time and I'm happy to jump into questions. Um, so the question is, is there any plan to bridge into other blockchains? So Sequence as a wallet is compatible with all uh, Ethereum compatible chains and we're adding more integrations as we go. So right now we're already supporting Polygon and we'll add other side chains and layer twos uh, over time. All right, well, I don't see any other questions. Uh, if anyone has any, please feel free to share. Uh, but if not, it was a pleasure connecting with you. And um, yeah, I'm supposed to uh, mention whose question I like the most. And since there was only one, uh, Hattie, if I'm pronouncing your question or your name correctly, then uh, you're definitely my favorite question. So I, I guess you're gonna win a special something. Oh, another question from uh, Joel. Uh, any more games working in progress in Horizon? Um, we're not developing other games at the moment. Um, yeah, so no. Uh, how do I get an access code? Go to skyweaver.net and um, you can sign up for the waitlist there. If you wanna get it a little quicker, join our Discord at skyweaver.chat and there's a beta request channel there, and um, someone will likely reply with the code within the next 24 hours for you. Uh, from Alexander, do you think visual do you think visual reality would be a cool phenomenon in card games? Uh, Alex, do you mean virtual reality? Um, I'm guessing so, uh, but uh, yeah, if, would it be cool? I think it'd be amazing. Um, to, yeah, I mean, be immersed like in the battlefield, maybe you embody the hero in Skyweaver um, and, you know, battle other opponents and create cool strategies and card combinations. I think it'd be incredibly fun. Uh, so this person has asked, the NFT market and collectible gaming market is difficult to penetrate. Many toys and brands are owned by large companies. Do you have partnerships or advisors that can help you gain Adoption. Um, yeah, so first off, we have a number of incredible um, investors that are connected across uh, various uh, markets, gaming, blockchain, et cetera, uh, consumer products. And we're also um, working with Ubisoft right now as part of their Entrepreneurs Lab to um, hopefully uh, help them power their vision of the metaverse and, and Web3 and um, yeah, make it easy for their users to access uh, Web3 and blockchain-based games. And then I, I can't reveal details right now, but we are uh, in discussions with a number of other projects. Uh, so this person said, I unfortunately am in a state that has limited access, but I can still play, right? I just have limited capability in the marketplace, correct? 
Uh, so right now, Skyweaver is in soft launch. Um, the marketplace is, it's active. It's just that, or sorry, sorry, I, I correct myself. We're in private beta, not soft launch. And the marketplace is, it's active, but we're using test contracts. So the items themselves are not persistent blockchain assets. There's no real money involved. Um, so it's just, it's for testing purposes, though you can play in um, private beta and actually uh, by ranking highly, you will win something that we reward you once we're in open beta, which will be uh, a tradable item. Um, but uh, yeah, so you can play the game in, in its, uh, all the different game modes, you can access the marketplace, and um, yeah, just the, it's, it's test contracts for now. There's a large offer of games, what makes the difference between yours and existing projects? Um, so a number of things in terms of gameplay design, um, you know, we've made the game to be more, to have a depth more akin to Magic the Gathering, but an ease of learning more akin to Hearthstone. Um, it's interesting because there are five different prisms and then there are dual combination uh, prisms. And so th there's a lot of different strategies that you can combine. Um, your hero is on the field. So something that's unique in Sky River is you choose a hero. Um, there's also, so units have attached spells or, or they cannot have attached spells, um, which are essentially like just consumable one-off type attacks or, you know, they might buff one of your um, allies. Um, so that's, that's really unique in, in card games. Uh, furthermore, it's a singleton design, so you can only have one copy of each card in your deck. Um, also, Conquest, the game mode, has never been done in card games before, and it's it's super interesting because you know you're you're playing the game and you can you know enter with a dollar or you can enter with a silver card, and you have this opportunity to prove your skill and unlock new tradable rewards that you know, could unlock gameplay, or if you have a duplicate, you could go sell it on the market or anywhere else. Um, so it's uh, it's really unique in a, a number of ways. And if, if you go and um, play in the private beta, I think you'll, you'll learn a lot of other things as well. We've had a, a ton of uh, seasoned Hearthstone, seasoned Magic players tell us that our game is already more compelling um, than those. And the economy isn't even live yet, which, you know, is definitely one of the unique value propositions, but we really focused on making this game first and to be incredibly fun, even if the person has no interest in the economy or blockchain. Uh, so we want it to stand alone, uh, stand on its own as a game. And uh, I think we've achieved that, you know, we even had a, like the Pokemon. Uh, yeah, go check it out. And I think you'll, you'll see um, a lot of unique aspects to Skyweaver compared to other card games you might have played. Uh, this person asked, can I play on Android? Also, yeah, it's, it's browser-based, so you can play on um, uh, desktop, tablet, and then we also have iOS and Android apps available. Uh, this person, how do I get an access code? Um, yeah, just go to skyweaver.net, sign up, and, um, or if you want to uh, move a little more quickly, go to skyweaver.chat, that's our Discord, and there's a beta, uh, sorry, a beta request uh, channel there, beta access request channel. Cool. I hope um, I answered everyone's question uh, and they feel fulfilled with my answers. Uh, I don't see any others, but uh, I have a couple more minutes if anyone wants to shoot one my way. And uh, okay, I think that looks like it's it. So um, yeah, I'm supposed to choose my favorite question. And since I already acknowledged Hattie's uh, about is there any plan to bridge into other blockchains, uh, and I said they would receive the award, I definitely don't want to take that away from them. So um, yeah, Hattie's question, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, yours, is, yours is my favorite for this session. And uh, I appreciate everyone who asks questions uh, and engages. It's, it's really fun chatting with you all. And yeah, thanks so much for your time.